Welcome to the era of AI. Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to create a cute dog reel video for Instagram, TikTok, and whatnot. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to say, I would like, I would like to create a top, let's just say top five cute dogs reel for Instagram. Could you do the script? So because I'm still on the same chat that I programmed ChatGPT to answer all of my questions. Now here, it seems that it did it for, this is not good. So what I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's, um, should be a five second sequence because I wanted to generate voiceover and visuals for each five seconds. Okay. So it seems that ChatGPT is quite, uh, I must say not that smart in this case. I'm going to say five second per sequence. All right. So now hopefully it should understand. Okay. It did. So as you can see here, this is good now. So I'm going to start off by generating the voiceover. So I'm going to ask it, put, put the, the voiceovers in one paragraph. And hit enter in which case it's going to proceed to put all the voiceovers in one paragraph and i can then just go ahead and copy these voiceovers like this and a copy copy and i'm going to go back to 11 labs double click paste my voiceovers and hit generate okay so right now okay i think i should choose a girl voice a female voice would be better for this application let me check some of my female voices that i have over here uh okay not so sure if I do have some. All right, so I'm going to go to the uh, library, the voice library, go to voices. Here, in terms of the voice library, I can just go and go to the library and, and, and pick uh, a voice from the library. So here we have Miss French. Okay, let's just, uh, let's, let's listen to this one. Pour créer un projet avec une voix artificielle le plus... I see. I can see why this voice has been used a lot, because this is a French voice. Uh, let me check some more voices. Uh, so, for instance, if I select a young female with standard accent, okay. Let me select this. This is German accent. I need a female voice, but with no German accent. So, first of all, let me just go here and search for search voices female. And um, just so that we can isolate male from female, let's click. Find a comfortable place to lie down. Make sure your spine is straight. Let's choose this the one. The shallow reefs are but a fraction of this enormous water world. In the yep. inky depths, yep. you've only this is good, but light. let's go with this one. Hi, my name is Ivy, and I'd love to voice your project. Okay, so I'm going to add this to the voices. I cartoons, animations, fairy tale stories, and more. Let's make some magic. Okay, this voice is, uh, they're, they're even, they're saying it themselves. I'm not, I'm not the one saying it, but they're saying that this voice is a childlike voice, which is good because we're making a video about dogs. So cute dogs. So here I'm going to go and look for my voice in the voice app, childish voice, click generate. That's it. So now it's going to generate the voiceover. Ready for cuteness overload? Here are the top five cutest dogs at number five. The fluffy and playful Pomeranian. Number four, the sweet and affectionate Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. At number three, the charming French Bulldog. Number two, the stylish and lovable Shih Tzu. And the cutest of all, the friendly and joyful Golden Retriever at number one. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to download my voiceover, go back to Canva, and I want you to open up a new Canva project. This, this is going to be a YouTube short project as well. So we're going to come over here and click creative design. Now, all of this is going to be designed inside of Canva, which means we're not going to use CapCut this time because we're tired of using CapCut. All right. So let's go ahead over here and search for YouTube shorts. And uh, yeah, so excuse me for this video, because maybe the quality of the sound is not as good uh, because I'm putting my computer on uh, charger because the battery is extremely low and I have to make this video. OK, before I go to sleep. So here, as you can see, uh, I'm in Canva. 
And first thing is first is add how many pages? Precisely six pages because we have five dogs plus the introductory page. So that makes it six pages. Then I want you to go right here and drag your voiceover or like I said earlier in the course, if you haven't taken the course and this is a, uh, yet, you yet have to take it. When you take the course, uh, you'll know that we cover everything. So I'm going to move the needle at the beginning. I'm going to click right here and you can see that the voiceover has been successfully added, which is perfect. So if we go back to chat GPT right now, if I scroll up, intro, uh, visual, bright, playful, da, 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 title with paw prints. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back to Canva on the first slide. I want you to go to elements and guess what? We can generate images. Okay. So in terms of gen image generation, click generate your own. And we would like to generate a film or a photo uh, image portrait uh, size. And I'm going to say cute, small, little dogs. Okay. And here I would like to generate this first image inside of Canva. So pretty good, right? You can generate images with Canva. Now they're trying to move more and more to put everything here so that you can do everything from voiceover and so on and so forth. Now here we have some very interesting images of some dogs. And I just so happen to think this one is quite awesome. So I think I'll go with it. And plus, let me tell you, you can also generate videos. We covered that in the course in a module. Now let's click. Here is our image. I'm going to go and set the image to the background. Now let's move to the second page. Now on the second page, we have the Pomeranian, right? So the a Pomeranian bouncing around with a toy. This is our prompter. So I'm going to come back right here. We're going to paste this in and click generate again. In which case now on page number two, we're going to add an image of the Pomeranian playing with a toy. So it's taking some time right now to generate. Okay. So there we have it. Pick the one you like, the one you find the cutest. I would think that you would find this one the cutest because it looks the cutest. So I'll take this and set the image to the background. Then you need to make sure also that you make sure everything is centered. Now move to the other page. Now here we have a King Cavalier. Now I don't know why they spent this, they, they spell, spell this at Cavalier King, but I heard Caesar Milan saying King Cavalier. Now I'm gonna generate and uh, let's see. Their AI tool is as good as uh, as good as the other AI tools, right? The, the other ones are more advanced. They have more features. But trust me, this is great because you can generate images here and they're fast. So here we have a cute King Cavalier. Pick the cutest image. And I think that this one is the cutest because it's always fun to look at the dog's reactions. And I'm going to click to set the image to the background, then move to the others. Now here, this one is a French Bulldog. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just click right here, copy the prompt, come back, paste, click generate again. And this is going to show me a French bulldog image. In the meantime, I can go and copy the other prompt that's afterwards. A Shih Tzu. I don't know what that dog is. I think I probably have seen it, but I don't know what it is. I don't know its name. Now here we have a cute little dog. This one is the cutest because he's sitting on the couch. And he's been a nice little good boy. Okay, he's been a good boy. Now, let me just click here and make sure that this is put in the center. I'm going to go to number five and I'm going to click to paste this right here. So, Shih Tzu, right? Let's see what this dog looks like. You can always do a search on Google if you just want to fact check if these are really the images of these dogs. Because the last thing we want is to actually appear as liars. So, here you see that we have some pretty fun images. I think that this one is the funniest. So I'm going to click that one and I'm going to go and set the image to the background. Then I'm going to go right back. And finally, we have the golden retriever. So let's copy golden retriever image. I'm going to go to number five I'm going to double click. I'm going to paste and generate again. And now it's going to generate the image of a golden retriever. Now here, after this, we need to add what we call a transition. So once we add this, we need to add the transition. Plus we need to fix the spaces. So first off, you see that we have some images of golden retrievers. I'm going to go with this one right off the bat and I'm going to click set image to the background. Then I want you to come over here and click on add transition. I want you to use the uh, dissolve transition or the slide transition, any kind of transition you want. It is up to you. 
Now the flow transition is good, but it's definitely very, very beautiful transitions. I think I'm going to be going with this one. Uh, let's try to color wipe. No, I'm going to be going with this one and I'm going to apply between all four pages. And now you can see it kind of reduced them. And I can just reduce that one at the end a little bit, this one a little bit, and this one at the beginning, just a tiny bit as well. And that is pretty much that. So now let me move here. I'm going to click on the first image right here, and I'm going to edit this image by going to the adjust fil filter and auto adjusting. I'm going to do the same thing with the second image by clicking on it, edit, editing the image, and also auto adjusting it. So adjust, auto adjust. Then I'll move to image number or this one right here. I'll click edit image and I'll go to adjust, auto adjust. Then I'll go to this one here, click. I'll edit the image, I'll adjust, and then I'll auto adjust. And then we have this one. I'll click, click edit image, and I'll go to adjust and auto adjust. And finally, we have the last one. I'll click it. I'll go to edit the image and I'll adjust and I'll auto adjust. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now what do we need? We need to move the needle at the very beginning. So we have the sound. We need a cute music. But first, before the music, we need to define these dogs. So the first dog is the Pomeranian. So at the moment we show the Pomeranian, you can go to design as a matter of fact. And if you go to design, if you add a page here, uh, we can go over and look for, you know, some dog. Let's see. Okay, so this one is pretty good because... This text is good, so I'm going to apply this to here just so that I can take these beautiful frames, all right? So I'm going to take, uh, I think, maybe this frame, this one or this one. I don't really know. Okay, so I'm going to click this one, add it there, and I'm going to click this one, and I'm going to add this one here. So from this one, I'm only going to take this particular font. I'm going to copy. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to paste here, and I'm also going to paste here. And I'm also going to paste here. And I'm also going to paste here. And I'm also going to paste this one as well right here. Then I can just go and get rid of this because obviously I don't need it anymore. Or I think I would probably need it. I can just remove this one because I don't need that one. And uh, let's go back in time. Let's go back in time. I think I'm just going to get rid of the image. First, let me detach the video from the background. Video detached. Let me remove these uh, these words or phrases, whatever they are. I just want to remove the text. And what I want to do, I want to click the background, turn it. Um, I can turn it white, uh, but that's not going to be great. You know, I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to select everything and group everything so that everything can move as one unit. And I'm going to copy this unit. I'm going to copy this unit, come back to this uh, first part, place it in. You can see it kind of places in perfectly. I'm going to place this in as well. I'm also going to place this in as well. And I'm going to place it here. And I'm also going to place it here. And I'm also going to place it here by clicking Control V. Now I'm going to remove this right here. And now we have our pretty good video. Now, when it comes to the dogs that have their faces not looking quite clear you can actually drag this down but i would think it would not really be wise now let's just go and add the names of the dogs all right so first of all i think this has to be positioned backward from the text so i'll do the same for this one right here i'll also do the same for this one right here and i'll also do the same for this one right here so that the text is always at the above and now let me just go to page number two. This is the text. So the first dog is what? The first dog is a Pomeranian. So I'm going to copy the name Pomeranian, come back right here, place the name Pom Pomeranian. And if it's actually bigger, you can just do something like this to make it smaller, reduce it, and uh, even go as far as putting it right at the top, close to that little arrow right there. And that's pretty much it. Now, I'm going to go to the second one. Now, the second one is what? Is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. That's a pretty big name. I'm just going to take a Cavalier King as the name. I'm going to double click on the name, paste. And of course, this doesn't need to be this big. So I'll just rescale it and position it where we can still see the eyes. And I'm going to go to this one. This one is obviously a Bulldog, but I'm just going to copy the name of French Bulldog. Yeah, this one is a French bulldog, which means it's 
different. Now this is the French Bulldog. I'm going to reduce the name slightly in terms of size, place it right there. Then I'm going to go here. So what do we have? We have a Shih Tzu. Let's copy the name Shih Tzu. Let's double click right here. Let's paste the name Shih Tzu. Obviously this should be in one line. And right here, you can see it. And here we have the final dog, which is a golden retriever. So I'll copy golden retriever. I'll come back here and I'll double click, paste a golden retriever there. And of course, I'll make sure that this is something like this, paste it right there. Perfect, perfect. So now that I have done this, what I could do is I could add music. So let's go ahead and add some music. Now, in terms of elements, or actually not elements, I'm going to go to apps. And I'm going to search for this app called Tune Tank since it contains a lot of beautiful music, copyright free, or so they say. Always remember to check their copyright uh, agreements before you use them. And also remember to protect yourself at all times by doing further investigation and not trusting any information as is, even from me. So you can see here we have some very beautiful uh, music. So I'm going to go and look for some cheerful, cheerful music. And uh, you can listen to music here by just clicking the music. Cheerful. Let's click this one. This one is great, but we have one that says doggy walls. Yeah, this one is great. Now I'm going to drag this music here because I think it's going to do well. But at the same time, you don't have to drag it like that. You can just go and click add. So I'm going to go back for a second. Tune Tank is asking me to connect even while I'm connected. I'm going to go back to Tune Tank. Search this cheerful keyword again. Now, the best way to add music is to put your cursor at the beginning or where you want your music to be added. Search for the music. When you find, find the music, which in this case, it's... I think I, I think I lost the music. So I'm just going to go and do doggy. Okay, I think I found it back. No. I lost the music. Okay, just look for it again. Let me just keep scrolling. Now, the problem is that when the music goes, you will not be able to find it again. Let me look for Doggy Waltz. Yeah, there it is. I found it. So I'm going to click Add. I remembered the name. And here, I'm just going to go and click on this music, and I'm going to decrease it down to about maybe 10. And that's it. So now we have our music. We have everything. So all I need to do is to go forward. And first of all, let me just check this. Now, there's, there must be an animation added to the text. It has already added. So I'm going to go and click download. And I'll be downloading this as an MP4 at highest quality 4K. And I'll just wait until it's downloaded so that we can watch this video together. Okay. So right now, let's listen to the video and wrap up with this lecture to move to the final lecture of this uh, section. So let's watch. Ready for cuteness overload? Here are the top five cutest dogs. At number five, the fluffy and playful Pomeranian. Number four, the sweet and affectionate Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. At number three, the charming French Bulldog. Number two, the stylish and lovable Shih Tzu. And the cutest of all, the friendly and joyful Golden Retriever at number one. All right. So hopefully you've enjoyed that because I like this video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.